I make my jumps out of solid dirt, and on this jump it was taking a while, and I looked around for inspiration, saw these old walls and these spare stones, and thought I could use them. Because when you're making a jump, you have to use a lot of soil to keep it strong and do the sides. And some people make a structure and then just cover it in soil. I don't think that's too good. And then this guy made like a box and filled it with dirt. So he made the back and sides and then filled in the middle with dirt. And I like that, it's neat. So I did that on this first little takeoff. Then I brought some rocks in and started on the second takeoff. So making the sides and building the back up like so, and then adding in some better dirt, and then working on the working riding surface, and then it's done. For the first landing I thought rocks would be a bit scary, so I used some wood, and then on the sides used some rocks, so that's the first landing done, again not having to work on the back and the sides with the soil and for the second landing again with the wood it took around five minutes the clock was getting stuck and then each side of rocks took around five minutes so 15 minutes to build the structure I'd already brought in the materials and once the sides were done it was off to get some soil I had some junk soil over here. It takes around three minutes to get a barrow of soil in. And it's quite a tidy way to make a jump. The jumps below were some of the ones I showed earlier being built. Anyway, lots of barrows later. And it's quite a quick way to build because I'm not having to worry about the sides or the back and shaping. It's very neat. Uh, I like the look of it. I mean, I'm just working on the riding surface. It took less than an hour to build that. And here it is finished. Tiny jump tiny gap but it's solid immediately even the sides are solid is there a little test run and I think that'll be perfect for the children and visitors so there you go if you want to use rocks or wood if you have materials I think that's a nice way to build a jump and you could scale it up you just need bigger rocks and bigger logs <laughs>